A long time ago, Mr. and Mrs. Darling lived in London, England, with their children, Wendy, Michael, John, and their sweet dog, Nana. Wendy was always telling her brothers stories about a magical place called Neverland, where a magical boy named Peter Pan lived. No one ever grew old in Neverland. It was full of mermaids, Indians, fairies, and some wicked pirates, too. One night, as Wendy told her brothers a bedtime tale of Neverland, magically, Peter Pan and a magic fairy appeared. Peter Pan wanted Wendy to come with him back to Neverland and never grow old. She agreed, as long as her two brothers could come, too. The magic fairy sprinkled her fairy dust to help them fly. And soon, Peter Pan had taught Wendy, Michael, and John how to fly. Back in Neverland, Captain Hook was searching for Peter Pan. He was going to capture him once and for all. Peter Pan took Wendy to the Mermaid Lagoon while Michael and John went off exploring with Peter Pan's friends, the Lost Boys. In the meantime, Captain Hook had taken Tiger Lily, Peter Pan's friend, prisoner. The captain demanded that Tiger Lily tell him where Peter Pan's secret hiding place is. Mr. Shmee, Captain Hook's helper, was a bad person and he helped Captain Hook put Tiger Lily in danger. All of a sudden, Peter Pan flew in and rescued Tiger Lily from Mr. Smee and Captain Hook. He rescued her just in time. Captain Hook had another plan. Mr. Shmee would find the magical fairy and she would help them find Peter Pan's secret hiding spot. Mr. Shmee found the fairy, and she was willing to help because she had become jealous of Wendy. And Captain Hook promised to leave Neverland and kidnap Wendy to take her with him. Because of the promise, the fairy showed Mr. Shmee and Captain Hook on a map where Peter Pan's secret hideout was. Immediately, <laughs> Captain Hook said, Thank you, nice fairy and then locked her up in a cage. The captain and his crew found the secret hideout and captured everyone but Peter Pan. Captain Hook lowered a bomb into the hideout to blast away Peter Pan. But meanwhile, the fairy had escaped to warn Peter Pan about the bomb. The bomb went off, but Peter Pan and the fairy escaped. But Captain Hook had no idea about that. Happy with his prisoners, Captain Hook loaded them on his ship. He gave them all only two choices. Become pirates or walk the plank, said Captain Hook. Wendy bravely said, we will never join you, as she slowly walked onto the plank. She stepped off the end and vanished into thin air without even a splash. Michael and John looked on in fear. All of a sudden, they all heard Peter Pan's voice. He had saved Wendy by catching her before she splashed into the water. A great battle started between Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Peter Pan won the battle and threw Captain Hook overboard. The ship was now Peter Pan's. Peter ordered his crew to sail the ship to London to take Wendy, John, and Michael back home. Peter Pan knew Wendy and her brothers had to return home. Wendy and her brothers were so happy to be returning home to London. The ship reached Mr. and Mrs. Darling's home and dropped off Wendy, Michael, and John. Peter Pan and his friends were not ready to grow up just yet so they turned the ship around to sail back to Neverland with Peter Pan and the fairy too. 
Wendy and her brothers waved goodbye from their window as Peter Pan and his ship sailed out of sight towards Neverland. Wendy knew in her heart she must start to grow up soon. Uh -huh. But no matter how old she got, she would never forget her wonderful adventures in Neverland with Peter Pan and all of his amazing friends. <laughs>